we're going to be able to finish up pretty quick here. So I want to dive right into showing you about these little pennants here. Um, I put the bottom two triangles on whatever I've decided is the front side. You want to be careful like which way your stockings are going to hang so that you don't have the fronts of some of them going one way and some of them going the other way because they're going to look funny once you got them hung in a row if you don't have the same direction facing. Anyway, so you're going to sew your pennants onto, basically baste them onto just this front edge of your stocking. And I pinned the two on the side, flush with the seam, put this one, layered it over the top so it's lapped there. And I am just going to baste that on quick and it'll get sewed on completely when we put the lining on. So we'll go ahead and take care of that real quick and be right back. Okay, I've got that basted on. I can take my pins off. Now they're going to stay put. I've got my lining here. My lining is inside out. My stocking is right side out. I'm going to thread the foot through the lining. Pull it up to the top here. And we're going to that sewn around there. Now, I've already sewn the lining to the red one. Now, on this one, it, it's a little bit opposite because this stocking inside out, I put my lining right side out in there, sew it around the top, and then you pull it out like this. See, you've still got this bottom open. It's got the lining attached. And from there, you want to turn the whole stocking right side out through this hole, gather it up, and shove it through there, <laughs> like so. the fabric so ravelly. So I'm going to be able to do this though. So, old knitting needle. So then you tuck, tuck in the lining back in there. Just trying to get it out of my way while I work with it. Take my Knitting needle in there. And being careful not to poke through the fabric itself. Go ahead and start turning it right side out. turned, um, my toe turned, and of course you can put your wire in, tack it down, and um, stuff it. When you stuff this toe, take small pieces of fluff, I'm just going to demonstrate here, of your batting, just little pieces at first. Get them down in there. If you start with too big of a piece, you won't be able to stuff it as far into the little tiny 
channel that you're working with. Okay, I don't want to get this too far stuffed before I get my wire in there. Um, I want it to be kind of loose. But, yep, just little pieces. Start with a piece just about this big or so when you start stuffing that in. Um, so what, what I want to show you is how you close up your lining. Because uh, you'll, you'll stuff your stuffing down through this foot here, and you'll pull your lining back out. You'll turn under these edges. You'll sew that closed, and then you'll stuff this back in. So, and you can, when you feel down in here, lining goes to about here. So you want to stuff it to approximately here, a little bit up from where the bottom of the thing is, but then nestle your hand around to sort of make a nest so that the stuffing is coming up a little bit around the sides of the, the bottom of the inside of the lining instead of just stopping off abruptly there. So this one, I went ahead and sewed that on, sewed it closed already, it's stuffed up to here, which is a couple inches deeper. Let me just turn that back around, stuff that in there. Work it down into your stuffing. Try to center it. this stocking is all ready for some type of a hanger. Um, might be on your own to figure out that. You're just going to attach you know, a cord or a wire or what have you to these outside edges and to, to make a, a hanger. The wavy one, I just wrapped copper wire to make a hoop for that. Let's see, on this one, I tacked a strip of red leather and on this one I tacked some pretty green cord to match my star. So I've got choices. Lots of choices. Um I think that's really all that I need to cover. Um, if you have any questions, if there's some aspect of making these stockings that you would like to see demonstrated, you can certainly drop me a note in com comments and I will see about putting something together for you because I really want to support you. Um, do you look for me on Facebook at Wendy K Studio and uh, I'll put some diagrams on there. I'm going to go ahead and try to send out um, uh, follow up to anybody who's bought my elf stockings pattern already. Uh, with information um, about where to view this video and some additional diagrams to um, support you in your efforts to make the most wonderful elf stockings anyone has ever seen. Um, you're really going to impress folks. Uh, be patient. Um, choose easy to work with fabrics. Take your time. Um, when you make mistakes, try to find solutions that are going to uh, make it look like you did it that way on purpose. And don't ever let on. <laughs> All right, well, happy sewing and thanks for tuning in. Um, have a great day.